This is an overview for our Fuel Tech 450 engine harness that we just released um, a few weeks ago. I wanted to do this quick video. Um, basically, this is a complete unit, so you'll need a few connectors to hook up and you'll be ready to go on the road. So let's start from here. We'll have the fuel pump trigger on the E connector. That's needed. It's a ground trigger. You must hook it up to a sub harness. Uh, for a chassis specific unit, or if you're not using a chassis specific unit, you would just plug this to the factory or to the for RSX to trigger the fuel pump. Anything, everything else in the E connector, fuel tech does not use, so we removed it. Um, then we have the C101 connector. So if you're using this on the EG, EK, or any other swap setup, you need a, a sub harness to go to the chassis, um, or you can use something like our universal fuse box here. Then we have this connector here, which is the rear wheel speed sensor, which we added if you're using rear wheel speed, not required. Um, another connector we added is oil pressure sensor. So this is not included in many harnesses, but we included it and uh, you just have to uh, program it into the fuel tech and your car will read correct oil pressure showed outputted into the ECU. Then we have the ECU connector, which would be this one here. You have the can -A. So that's used to hook up something like the um, Y-Band Nano or any other CAN bus accessory that FuelTech makes. Then we have the auxiliary connector here, which has uh, 5 volt, 12 volt, and uh, ground, as well as a couple inputs uh, for additional sensors that you may want to hook up. And that's completely up to you. As far as everything else, it runs just like a standard K-series tucked harness. You'll have your injectors, you'll have your coils, alternator, starter, basically everything like a factory K would, um, but in a tucked, um, you know, variant. And that's pretty much it. So you, you just need to hook up the C101, the E connector, the ECU connector, load up a base map with the pinout that we provide to use with this specific unit. And you're good to go to start the engine. And this can be used to be started on the engine stand if you use something like our universal fuse box for the K-Series. Um, these can go together, but you don't have to. You can hook it up to a regular, you know, chassis harness from anyone else, or you can buy ours. Or if you, you know, don't have it, you can purchase it from us. Or if you're using this on a 0204 RSX, you don't even need the jumper harness. This will go directly to the factory connections on the RSX.